Can you... I was going to say, can you just introduce us to the characters a little and what excites you the most about playing them? It seems we don't know much about this. So, I play Crystal, who's the youngest member of the royal family. I control the elements, which is a pretty cool set of powers. Um, I have, I am the keeper of Lockjaw, who is the 2,000 pounds teleporting dog. So, Crystal gets to build a great relationship with Lockjaw because he's a big part of, you know, my life on the show. And he's been a friend for me and, you know, sometimes being in a royal family can be quite isolating. Um, so I have Lockjaw as, you know, a, 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 to bond with and so that's re it's really nice for me and exciting. But a lot of the time he is CGI, so he's invisible on the day. So it's a lot of imagination and creativity that, that goes into, into the work. Uh, I play Maximus, who is the brother of Black Bolt, the king of the Inhumans. Um, yeah, and Maximus, I mean, I guess the, the, the key thing to the character is um, his terrogenesis rendered him powerless. So, uh, in terms, in the society of the Inhumans, that means you go right to the bottom. Um, but because he is the brother of the king, um, he got to be part of the royal family. But yet, everyone sort of treats him like the runt, and because he's he's just a human, um, you know, the, it, which is a very difficult thing for him to deal with. And he's been dealing with that all his life. Um, so he it, that sort of made him um, he understands the people more. So he he can see the suffering of the lower caste, um, and he wants to change that. And with the imminent threat of humanity discovering the Inhumans. He believes that there's a he, his him and his brother have got very different views of how to move forward, which is what way you get the conflict between the brothers. Um, so yeah, I guess that's kind of roughly him. But he's, he's a charismatic revolutionary, really. <laughs> You spoke a lot about the character yesterday in the panel and sort of like his belief system and his drive. Um, you touched a little bit though. Does he have regret? Does he? Is he so fueled by like this cause that he has that he has, doesn't see the other side? Like, what is his fatal flaw besides the fact that he's making really terrible choices for the betterment? What he believes to be the betterment of the society? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I think. Oh, yeah. Of course. I mean. Uh, he doesn't. He's, he's, he loves his family. Um, they're the only thing he has. So it's in a way he's. It's a, you know it's a great sacrifice to stand up to them like he's done and and to be ruthless in the way he's doing it because he believes that is the only way to save the Inhumans. Um, so um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 yeah, he doesn't want to hurt them at all. It, it breaks his heart. It, it, yeah. Isn't it more? When I was saying it, I know you've, uh, you said your brother and you have like different views, but is it, is it more like a kind of jealous little brother bit to it too, especially since the brother got the girl that he wanted? Yeah, there's a bit of that in there as well, yeah. Um, there is an element that he also really probably would have made a better king because he can speak. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and you know, the, you know, the, the, that sort of silence that Black Ball has is limiting and it makes him quite cold. Whereas Maximus is a man of the people, he can talk to the people, he, he can, you know, he can see their needs and what they want. Um, so, and he believes that it's archaic, the system that they live in. Um, so in, in a way he, he thinks, well, yeah, maybe I should have been a better king than you. And, and you know, she should be my queen. Um, and which is a very relatable thing, I think. A younger brother who has basically got screwed over, you know. What about Crystal? She's being the youngest, and obviously there's a lot of political strife going on in the upper echelons of her own family. How is her character sort of dealing, or like, what can you say about what her role is in this, sort of? Yeah, it hasn't really, I mean, everyone's focused on Black Gold and that. So, Crystal's very, you know, very devoted to her family, and has a great connection with everyone in her family, but there are things that go on that you get to see Crystal struggles through, through that, and how she deals with you know the family dynamics and the things that start to happen throughout the series so it's, it's you know it's going to be really interesting to watch I hope you really like to watch. What do you find to be the greatest challenge in creating these characters and then what's the greatest joy that comes from it? From creating from, the character? From bringing these characters to life? Um, I think uh, were you asking me or is it? Oh, oh right. Um, 
I think um, I think for me, Max was uh, it was that kind of almost playing against what everyone expects him to be. Because um, everyone's like, oh, Ewan Rail's playing Maximus the Mad, and he's evil, oh yeah, just like he did in Game of Thrones. But, you know, for me it was... Uh, and I, just, I don't know, I understand the journalists are all doing that because they need something to compare to because they can't just be a new character, which then infects the fans. But anyway, that's my own rant. Um, and, uh, no offence. And, uh, the um, yeah, I think it was the joy of playing against this kind of image that is Maximus the Mad um, and it was kind of that you know to, to make him a, hu a human that people can understand what he's going through and what uh, sacrifices he's making to fight for his cause you know he's not just a madman who's decided right I'm going to take over Atlan he's got real reasons behind this um, it's uh, it's uh, yeah so that's kind of the interesting thing for me my biggest challenge was, yeah, working with Lockjaw, who is invisible. So, you know, having him in scenes sometimes, remembering, like, having my eye lines perfect for when he gets CGI'd in, because I can't be looking at the wrong spot. So, things like that were, that was my biggest challenge as an actor. And um, what I enjoyed the most was, you know, experiencing and getting to feel what it's like to have powers and, super, like, to be a superhero and... That adds a really nice element, and especially to someone who's so young and like a young woman, to feel that that power and to experience that. The Inhumans are shy. We have to find By the way, we remember you from Mitch Yeah, that was my first. That's actually. Yeah, it was nice in that, wasn't it? Who's not cut up again? So there we go. I don't have the judgment. Oh, right. Oh, good. Yeah. That's because he was a hero. Yay. Yeah. <laughs>